Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of the video, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a review of Dossier perfumes. I've been seeing Dossier advertise on TikTok, Instagram, and even here on YouTube, so I decided to stop by and get some fragrances. If you don't already know, Dossier is a perfume brand that takes high-end perfumes and they replicate them into perfumes that smell identical or 95% like the real perfume but the good thing about those here is one the perfumes are extremely cheap you're getting high quality perfumes well they say you're getting high quality perfume for only $29 it's cruelty free and it's also risk free meaning that if you don't like the perfume that you get you can always send it back for a full refund no questions asked so today I got, like I said, I have three fragrances from Dossier, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. So before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post a video. So this is how the bottles come. And the quote said, iconic scents, design and quality, no markups. And this first scent is floral, honeysuckle, inspired by Gucci Bloom. So they do come in this bottle. And I believe this is 1.7, if you want to focus. It is 1.7 ounces, which is, this is a pretty good size perfume. Like I said, it is inspired by Gucci Bloom. So the notes in this one, I'll have them on the screen as well. So the top notes are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine sambac and tuberose. And the base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Um, yeah, I'm just now learning about base notes and top notes. So I guess top notes are what you first smell. Middle notes are what you have when you wear the perfume for about like two to five hours or however long. And then the base notes are probably like the last thing that you smell. I'm not sure if that's right, but from the week and a half that I've been researching, that's what I've come up with. So this floral honeysuckle, for all of the perfumes that I got, I did watch videos and a lot of people say that everything that I got, they smell exactly or close to the real thing. That's exactly why I got them. So like I said, this one is inspired by Gucci Bloom. I've been seeing Gucci Bloom everywhere. If you don't know, this is that, this is what Gucci Bloom looks like. And I just want to say I'm disappointed in this one. <sighs> when I first got it and I smelled it, I was just taken aback. This, it stinks. Like, it's called Gucci Bloom. It really should be called Gucci Doom. Like, let me describe what this smells like. This smells like, it smells like grandma perfume to put it in the simplest of terms. It isn't, first of all, it's not for someone young. Uh, this perfume probably for like, if you're 30 and up, you would get this perfume. But yeah, this is not for the young, the faint hearted. And it also has a strong powdery smell. It doesn't really give me flowers per se. Like you would think Gucci Bloom would be like a, from the name Bloom, it would be like a more upbeat, you know, more elegant. I don't know. This smells like you will wear this perfume if you're going to church, if you're going to a funeral, if you're going to like an important event and you have on like dark red lipstick or black lipstick or brown lipstick, you would wear this. It has like a dark smell to it. So it's definitely not a summertime fragrance in my opinion, personally. Yeah, I just, I, I really don't like it. Like, and the reason why I didn't spray it is because before doing this video, I did spray the perfume and I also sprayed it in a cap. So yeah, I, I have the smell. I'm trying to figure out what do I smell? I definitely smell the green leaves and I feel like the green leaves are really just overpowering it. I don't smell any vanilla, I don't smell any orange. I really just smell the green leaves, like if it, it smells like green leaves. It smells really strong, which is why when I wore it, I wore it on my wrist. I put like two sprays on my wrist when I first got it and within like two to three hours, it just, it vanished. Like I could not smell it anymore, which is kind of strange because it is very, very strong in the bottle. But yeah, I decided to return this perfume because I don't I would I don't think I would ever wear it. Like I don't I can't see myself ever wearing it. Like, yeah, I don't like it. So this is Gucci Bloom. Moving on to the second perfume. So the second perfume is called Woody Hyacinth. And I forgot to mention in the past, the perfume used to come with a little sample size bottle, but the company has since said that they're trying to cut down on plastic, so they're not um, giving out the two millimeter sample size anymore. So yeah. So this one is inspired by Chanel's Chance Eau de Parfum. And the top notes are hyacinth, lemon, and pineapple. The middle notes are jasmine, pink pepper, and patchouli. And the base notes are vanilla, vetiver, and orris. Okay, so this one, Chanel Chance. Um, when I first got it, I didn't like it. It kind of smelled like a grandma perfume as well. 
But then when I kept smelling it and I actually wore it, I do like it. So this one, it smells clean, it smells crisp, but it doesn't smell like clean linen crisp. It smells like a barbershop crisp. Like it smells like you just got a fresh haircut. This is what I imagine a barbershop to smell like. It smells really good. And I'm actually surprised that it's not uh, a unisex perfume that it's only for women because I really feel like men can wear this too. I'm also surprised that there's no musk in this. But I really do smell the hyacinth and I do smell the jasmine. That's really what I do smell. Again, I don't really smell the vanilla in here. You do smell a hint of lemon, yeah. So with this one, I can definitely say that it does last long. I don't know what Chanel Chance actually smells like. So I can't really compare, but from the videos that I've seen, everyone else said that it smells identical to the real Chanel Chance. So if you like Chanel Chance, go and get this one. I think it's the Chanel Chance, but I think it's the, I think it's the one in the yellow bottle. Like it has like a yellow color to it because there's many Chanel Chances. So yeah, I do like this one. And the last fragrance that I got is called Floriental Almond and it is inspired by Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. So the top notes are almond and peach, the middle notes are orris, orange blossom, tuberose, and the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. Okay, so I've been eyeing Carolina Herrera's Good Girl for a good minute now, and it was just too expensive. I don't really go anywhere to get that fragrance, but I really like it because of the shape. If you don't know, it comes in like a little shoe, high heel shoe bottle. So yeah, shape is really appealing. So when I first smelled this perfume, this perfume, it smells like something I have never smelled before. Like you really smell almond. It smells like, it smells like a nutty perfume. I mean, it has almond, cocoa bean, vanilla. I mean, tonka bean, cocoa, vanilla. You smell all of that. Like, and then it has like a hint of like fruity in there. I just, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it smells really good. Like. It smells really good. You can wear this perfume anywhere and anywhere. The first thing I thought about wearing this perfume was to the airport. Like, I'm going to the airport soon. I will wear this perfume. You can wear it on a night out. You can wear it to church. You can wear it to school. You can wear it anywhere. Like, it's really just a universal perfume. I really do like it. Um, when I did wear it, it did last long. It just didn't last as long as it's the Chanel perfume. So I'm going to keep wearing it. And um, if I find that it doesn't last too long, I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase the real thing because I mean, it does smell really good. I don't know what I expected it to smell like, but I wasn't expecting this, but I'm actually happy that I got this. So yeah, this is gonna be my new everyday fragrance because I love it. So yeah, if you don't get any of the perfumes that I got today, go ahead and get you this one. Just to at least smell it. If you don't like it, you always send it back. But this one, this one really smells good. And I did go in the store and I smelled the real Carolina Herrera perfume and it smells just like this. Like, I didn't have them there to compare, but from what I've been smelling this all week, so I know what this smells like. And I smelled it in the store, it smells identical to me. So guys, this was the last perfume that I got today. I only got three this time because I wasn't sure. Um, how do I feel about them? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I really like this one. The Gucci one I don't like. And the Chanel is like, so yeah, I did place another order and I got some more perfumes, so I'm definitely gonna um, try them out. Since now I know what I do like and what I don't like based on the notes, I went ahead and like I said, I ordered more perfumes. So I'm gonna make a part two to this video. But yeah, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, just stay tuned for part two next week. Later.